And on that incident that stunned a quiet, quiet residential neighborhood in Mill Creek around this time yesterday. Good evening, I'm Mike Rusey. And I'm Eva Mastermatio. Thanks for being here with us on Erie News Now at 5. We have team coverage as we learn more about what led to an officer-involved shooting on Tuesday that left one man seriously wounded and facing felony charges. Our Lisa Adams and Caleb Yager are breaking down the new information tonight. And Lisa Adams joins us now. Lisa, state police have released the name of the suspect, a family member who was not welcome at the home on East Gore Road. Now, Lisa, we know he was seriously injured in that exchange of gunfire. Mill Creek, uh, Pennsylvania State Police, they were both there, but he's also tonight facing some really serious charges. Good evening. That's right. It was a complicated and dangerous scene, as you were reporting last night at this hour, as you will hear as well tonight. But uh, not just police were in danger at that scene, but firefighters and really the entire neighborhood. And those are the reasons that uh, our news team has decided now to show you that video provided to us of what witnesses saw and heard. Individual who called us for help encountered a family member in the house that was not wanted there. Sources tell us the report was from a younger male family member, and the unwanted person is now identified as 26-year-old Keegan Baker. But what may have seemed like a routine Mill Creek police call quickly escalated. And this is what neighbors like Mark Bishop saw and heard. The officers on scene requested additional units for a barricaded male inside the residence and also a house fire. More Mill Creek police and state police officers arrived to help, and that's when the hail of gunfire began. The male suspects appeared in the doorway of the front entrance of the residence and began firing at officers. Officers returned fire, striking the suspect multiple times. The charges against Keegan Baker are many, including felony counts of attempted homicide, attempted murder and assault on law enforcement, multiple counts of aggravated assault, arson, and burglary for entering a house where he wasn't wanted. Firefighters who had to hide behind their trucks at first found a way to pump water through Mill Creek's armored SWAT unit, which could safely get right up to the house. Authorities aren't saying yet how many Mill Creek and state police officers fired their weapons. or how many shots the suspect may have fired, but he was hit multiple times. Now the major crimes team from Troop D. Butler is investigating the incident with a parallel investigation by the Erie County Detective Bureau. Now, Erie County District Attorney Beth Hers told me this afternoon, based on the circumstances of the case, obviously officers involved in the shooting, and that was why the decision was made to bring in Troop D to become the lead investigators here. At last word, the suspect was in critical but stable condition at UPMC Hammett. We did a little bit of digging, and while there were some criminal offenses in Keegan Baker's background, also some jail time, we don't know why he was not welcome in his former home. All right, Lisa, thanks so much for your reporting. Lisa.